What's going on guys, so we're back with a new video and in today's one we're back with Daisy 1.12 Experimental. It released a couple of minutes ago and they've added quite a few things, changed a few things and fixed up some stuff. So let's just jump straight into it. They've added a variety of small food items. They've added the Pioneer Rifle. They've added the experimental capsule. They've added the fang knife, I'm guessing it's called. I'm not 100% sure, I could be mispronouncing it. They've added the cookery knife. I hope I'm pronouncing that right as well. They've added the sickle. A farming hoe. And a broom. There's also new action to disarm landmines with the right tool. They've added titanium sights to the ATOG backup sights. You now have to peel potatoes to make them edible. Greenhouses can now be used for agriculture. Flags can now be caught into rags using a knife. Vehicle batteries are now recharged while the engine is running consumed and consumed by the headlights. Vehicle attachments can now be locked in place uh, using a screwdriver, interiors, tire iron, uh, wheels, and wrench for doors. There is two tips for attachment slots. Empty attachment slots are highlighted on mouse over. Added over 100 new error codes to the connection issues and kicks. So, pretty cool stuff they've added in so far. New knife, new gun as well. Actually, a couple of new knives and an experimental capsule as well. They fixed quite a few things as well. They fixed the server error related to player restraining. They fix implement client performance when looking at a pile of items. Items dropped inside a tree or bush would sometimes levitate. Flash grenades would not explode if destroyed by force. Belts would not show damaged textures when damaged. Fix an exploit to cancel the injured animation. Or the stealth kill could be executed by a ruined weapon. Fix an exploit for prolonged blocking. Cooking pots could be buried even when placed inside a stone oven. When observed from a distance, shattered glass in the M3S appeared to be intact. Removing items from the M3S inventory did not work properly. It was not possible to repair the engine of the Sarka 120. Car headlights could be switched on even if the battery was depleted. Car headlights would continue to shine even when the battery was destroyed. The M3S battery could not be removed while the truck was running. The zucchini and leather sewing kit are rendered better when rotated in inventory. Camera clipping issues in city police station. The ghillie suit and rifle wrap would not be repaired with a sewing kit. 
knives in attachment slots could not be used to interact with other items. Placing items in a tent would cause them to sink into the ground. Placing items in specific buildings would cause them to be spawned halfway underground. Certain loot spawns would cause items to appear in weird positions. Open doors from greenhouses appear to be closed from a distance. Fix the roof collision preventing the player from entering a building. The village bus stop had minor clipping with the bus schedule. The road signs at the crossing between Bor, Kamarovo and Pavlovo would give false directions. Fix some exploits in buildings. Players could still connect to a server which is in the one minute period of shutdown result in generate kick message. AI behavior sounds were in sync for players. Quite a couple of fixes there as well which is good to see. They have changed an absolute ton of stuff so I'm going to try and run through them as fast as I can but there is a ton of changes here so let's go through them. The warning for a full stomach would be displayed earlier before reaching the threshold for vomiting. We balance the nutritional values, inventory sizes and how filling each edible item is. Farming actions have been moved from plants to plant slots for easier targeting. All plants now have different growth times between 20 and 15 minutes. Adjust the nutrition values for horticulture vegetables according to their growth time. Fertilizing now increases the yield of plants instead of the growth time. Increase the chances of plant infestation. Plants will spoil after a while when being fully grown. Slicing a pumpkin now yields two pumpkin slices. The worse the condition of the vegetable, the fewer seeds it will give when cut. Packing seeds now spawns paper. We balance ammunition types. The friction of bullets has been increased to make the difference between ammunition types more visible. Increase the penetration of higher caliber ammunition. Heavy impact rounds slow down the player and apply more shock damage. Efficient ballistic rounds keep the speed and therefore bullet energy and resulting damage longer and are thus more efficient at long distance. 0.380 and 5x45x39 are the weakest in their category but are found more often in the world. Special types 22 is used by particular weapons, the Mark II that is integrally suppressed and the sporter that is almost a recoilless precise semi auto rifle. 12 gauge rubber slugs deal extreme shock damage at close range. 12 gauge buck shots is slowed down much more. The typical speed of bullets have been adjusted to be equal to the initial speed. Modern firearms require more maintenance when used. Adjusted the audible range of firearm shots based on the caliber they use. Increase the precision of pistols, sawed off rifles, bolt action rifles, hunting rifles and sniper rifle. Decrease the precision of assault rifles. Melee damage using impractical items is now weaker than fists. Slightly increased fist damage. Increase the damage of most tools to be more efficient than fists in combat. Players are no longer targeted by infected while unconscious. This is fantastic. Light melee attacks have a lower chance of staggering infected. Infected are now tougher in combat. Melee attacks on infected are now more consistent in terms of the number of attacks required to take one down. Improved efficiency of backstabbing against infected. Infected now react to players interacting with doors. Infected react less to suppress gunshots and more to louder shots. Infected give up searching for players faster. Reduce the efficiency of the scream on the infected. AI is no longer taking damage from damage zones, fireplaces and barbed wire. Landmines can no longer be disarmed using the bear trap, killing the player in the process. Matchboxes can now be combined but not split, this is also fantastic. When focusing on a specific part of a car slash base building object, the name of the specific section will be displayed in the widget. Reduce the audible range of the reload sounds by 50%. When having your hands cuffed with barbed wire, struggling uh, can now cause bleeding. You can now choose to stop an ongoing connection attempt and connect to the currently selected server instead. Lightning is now lighting up the environment a bit longer. Vehicle batteries with metal wires attached can no longer be placed in cargo. Burning road flares can be destroyed by placing them in a fireplace. You can gain extra rewards from fishing when fishing in calm waters. Adjusted Xmas lights on tents to be lighter on performance. Tweaks to the display of the server browser for better readability and they've updated the credits so that is a ton of changes ton of changes a lot of changes to zombies ammo um plants all that type of stuff which is really really cool gonna be interested to see how it all performs in server but that is a lot of stuff that's a big big update there is some stuff there for server and modding as well but i'm not going to go through that if you want to read them i'll leave links to the article down below and you can read them yourself but that's the main stuff covered a lot of stuff to be done a lot of new stuff it's going to be really really cool to try and find all these new you know knives and guns and 
stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this in the comment section down below. And as usual, I will catch you guys in the next video. So, peace out for now.